So I was asked by Ander, the Ander, Christian anarchist, uh, what do I think about religion and um, the, uh, and I'll just deal with that part right now. Um, <laughs> religion is good. Religion is probably the best thing. It actually um, got us very far along in civilization. It's needed. It's a byproduct of being human and cannot be gotten rid of. You know, I mean, even every type of celebration, festival, with pomp and circumstance come from that and are, can be considered religious, even if it's, uh, it's you know, for the July. Still a sociologically a religious holiday. Um, but it was actually the church that got us from the Iron Age to the microchip and the uh, the microchip and uh, space flight, space age, things like that. Because uh, <clears throat> they uh, had a lot of, they didn't burn, you know, pagan writings or whatever. They preserved Plato, Aristotle, I mean, all the ancient Greeks um, the, and ancient Romans, all their philosophy and commentary and histories um, and science, advancements in science. Um, the Egyptians, the Romans, the Greeks, but yeah, they, they were the ones copying the stuff down. That's the only reason why we have it today. Um, well, we have the plays of Euripides and Socrates and Seneca and all that kind of stuff is due to the church. Also, widespread literacy, um, hospitals, uh, and I mean, I can go on and on. I've made videos like this before, and other people have too. Uh, go on to the second uh, question. As for the religion of Islam, it's really not a religion, it's an ideology. Uh, it encompasses, uh, it has a political system directly attached to it that can't be taken out of it. Um, it can't be taken out of, you know, the, the practice of Sharia law or practice of Islam, basically. Uh, the pressing of an Islamic state, and we have an Islamic, we have the Islamic state right now in. Iraq and Syria, it's ISIS or Daesh, and it's uh, it's the one. I mean, it's the one religion in the world that's uh, that actively seeks to exterminate everyone who is not part of the people of the book, and the Christians and Jews uh, who are people of the book and Mandaeans have to live. They can be allowed to live, but as second-class citizens, but many times they're murdered or enslaved. Um, as for our treatment of Muslims, uh, I think this is one of the areas I agree with Trump on. We shouldn't let any more into the country until we know, because oh, only <clears throat> five to ten percent of them are radical jihadists. Yeah, well, you know, if I gave you a bowl of M&Ms and said. You know, 5%, you know, will make you extremely sick and give you diarrhea. And the other 5% will, are actually lethal and will kill you and members of your family. You know, then, no, you wouldn't. You'd say, well, no, I'm not, I'm not going to eat any of the bowl of M&Ms. Um, how should they be treated? Well, there should be a moratorium, moratorium on um, Islamic... Uh, um, entrance into this country and I think the, the there needs to be an exception because Islam is an ideology not a religion like you know Christianity uh, various forms of Christianity Judaism, Zoroastrianism Hinduism it has this political component that's not it can't be taken away from it it's absolutely intrinsically part of it um, that's why uh when I went to Islamic Foundation, you know, I, you know, I was like, well, you know, am I praying right? What's the, you know, the... but, um, <clears throat> how to deal with them? I don't know that they integrate, well, they don't integrate into Western cultures and they want to take them over through, uh, subversion. Uh, they talk about their religion to outsiders using tequila. um, 
and they have their stated goals. So I think that, no, I don't think the immigration from there should be allowed in. From Latin America, yes, um, because it changes the very basis of our society and will eventually try, try to change the um, very laws and constitutions and basis for, for those governments. Um, and they have a mission to proselytize heavily. The amount of people converting in the West to Islam uh, is amazing. Uh, so I think it should be dealt with like how the communists or the uh, left-wing anarchists were dealt with. I mean, look at Leon Shulgosh. I mean, what that what reaction they had on the leftist anarchists and. Uh, you know, with communism, they were threatening us. Now Islam threatens us, and then people say, "Oh, it's not really Islam." And then Islam didn't motivate that guy, even though he made a three-hour video quoting the Quran. Um, you know, multiple times reading whole passages and saying he's doing it because he's a Muslim. And this happens, you know, thirty times a year. There's killings, and they say, "Oh, it's workplace violence. It has nothing to do with terrorism." So, yeah, something's got to be done. And keep in mind, it's kind of a sensitive issue for me because I have, you know, half my family. Not only that, at the well over 500 people that I knew and loved them, uh, many of them would not raise a hand in violence in their life. Yet, this is what is taught. We can't take the risk of, oh, somebody's just, you know, being, you know, have, has a Christian heart instead of a Sunni Muslim heart. So yeah, it's a tough issue, and what doesn't that mean censorship and uh, you know not freedom of religion and that one? It's, I would say yeah, but it's we don't allow you know if someone who's probably practicing a form modern day Aztecism or Vikingism, where it was part of the religion to go out and kill people who aren't even a threat to them, just murder innocent people and rip their hearts out, perform cannibalism or the, in the case of the Aztecs, um, perform human sacrifice uh, on dozens of people every day just so they won't piss off the sun. They do it by ripping out their heart. So if we don't tolerate those, then, you know, I think people should get educated on Islam. And uh, shocking what it is, what people will find out. And then the great lengths that people will go to to say, well, no, not all Muslims believe that. But that. Hey, where did they grow up Muslim did they grow up going to the masjid no um, and a lot of times their defenders are Mormons who you know have their own divine deception when they speak to people that they lie to try to get people in and then to outsiders they say oh no we don't believe we get our own planet when they have hymns talking about it or yeah it's a tough issue but just recently I became very harsh because even or this these views which are very harsh and extremely recently because um, I mean years after I was a full member of the Eastern Orthodox Church I was st I still believed in the Islamic State I mean can you imagine that all right peace to you that'll be the end of it and if you guys have any more questions or want me to address certain certain topics I will if you guys are interested, I'll do a hangout. Um, well, I'm willing to go on any hangout because we, you know, I'm, I always love talking about Christ. And uh, if I can help people um, understand how to deal with Islam or uh, spread the word about the truth of it. Um, and again, there are many Muslims who I would trust more than a Christian or that I have more respect for than some Christians. Um, but that being said, it's a huge problem and especially in Europe but it's getting to be in the United States um, which yeah if I was you know 10 years younger I'd be screaming at myself calling myself a bigot right now